You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Durga is asking, can plasma blastic lymphoma be treated with immunotherapy? Okay, plasma blastic. I haven't heard of that in a long time. Um, that's a cancer that's typically associated with HIV and Epstein Barr virus. Mm -hmm. It's a large B cell lymphoma. Um, I believe it's CD20 negative, uh, although I have to double check that, which means it can't be treated by the standard um, immune based approaches like the mono, monoclonal antibodies, like rituximab and so on, that are commonly used for uh, CD20 positive lymphomas because it's. I don't believe it's CD20 positive. Um, and it's, uh, it's a kind of, you know, um, B cell that resembles a plasma cell. So that's why they call it plasma plastic. Uh, I, I don't know if it can really be treated. I don't, I don't think that you could be using standard immunotherapy on it, like PD-1 inhibitors, or even, um, uh, you know, CD20 targeting um, monoclonal antibodies like rituximab. So last I heard, there was a drug called Nantinostat, I believe, which is a histone deacetylase inhibitor, and that was being used in trials for, I believe, HIV or Epstein-Barr associated uh, disease. But I'd, I'd definitely have to you know, re-review that uh, subtype of cancer because mm. it, we don't see it a lot these days. Mm. Um, you know, it was commonly associated with the HIV infections. But how would... Um how would Durga find out if immunotherapy would be a good idea, even if it's not typically indicated for that type of cancer? Yeah. Um, well, we could definitely look more into it for her. Um, ah. You know, if she'd like to um, come to us. I mean, there's many factors to look at. We have to look at her general health conditions. I mean, if, is does she have HIV? Uh, does she have? Has she had Epstein Barr virus? Um, you know, viral associated versions of this are going to be different than uh, non-viral associated. Okay. You know, is it so a transplant associated? I mean, there's many different Too factors. many variables. We'd have to really look at her medical records okay. to see where, you know, what the best approach is. And then once again, you want to get down to tumor DNA sequencing. Right. So you still, you yes. Okay. So uh, that's, I mean, if, you know, if she has, for example, a uh, version of that that has a high tumor mutation burden, you know, then she's a shoe in for immunotherapy. Yes, that's Definitely. what I'm wondering is, right, so, like don't rule it out without the testing. Exactly. We yeah. have to look more specifically mm -hmm. at the individual case, which is what precision medicine is all about. Mm -hmm. It's true. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.